Welcome to Runway, a show about fashion and beauty and everything in between. I'm Rumi Thandi and we're here today to meet Ruby Hammer at Debenhams Oxford Street to find out about her new range. The thing about it is, don't do it so that what you think, oh I'm going to be able to travel, oh I'm going to get a load of money, oh I'm going to be with celebrities, it's not that, you've got to enjoy the grafting. You have to enjoy doing the work, which I do, and the reward was followed. And when she's got so much on the eyes, you don't want too much on the lips. Fashion. Hi, I'm here with international makeup artist Ruby Hammer. Hi Ruby, how are you? How are you? you? Very well, thank you. I'm good too. Thank you for having us here today. Oh, it's a pleasure. pleasure. Like I said, she's an international makeup artist. How did you get into a makeup artistry? By fluke, darling. I've always loved makeup, but um, I'm an economics graduate and I just, when I finished university, I ran, you know, I ran into a friend of my Oh, he was my boyfriend then, but then he became my husband, and it was okay. a friend of hers, and she needed someone to help assist doing Fashion Week, and just, she said, oh, come on, you can come and help me, and I ended up being thrown right at the deep end, and I was a apprentice, if you like, you know, so yeah. I did that for about a year, and gradually, I never did go back to do my master's, never did <laughs> do anything, this was it. Rolled with it, and it was an opportunity, and I took it. And you kept on going yeah, with it? Yeah, this is 25 years ago. Now, you're Ruby Hammer from Ruby and Millie, which is a massive <laughs> successful range. Thank How you. How did that come about? Well, it's, you know, anything with lines or ranges, they're, they're an extension of what you do. They're organic, you know, they evolve. It's not yeah. that you just wake up one morning and you think, that's all I'm going to do. It was obviously an extension of me being a makeup artist. I've worked with lots of other brands. I've helped train. Uh, we, me and my ex-husband and Millie, we brought Aveda to this country, we brought Theresa Mann, L'Occitane, yeah. Mr. Mascara, so there's, in the background there's lots of stuff I've done yeah. and that was just another one of your brands that you've launched but bore our name and then we come to Rubyham Recommends which is solely to do with me and it's a Debenhams exclusive product, so it's, everything is an evolution really. And that's where we are here today, in Debenhams yes. Oxford Street. So tell us a bit about Ruby Hammer Recommends. Well, this is lovely. So it's my latest venture and it's an all year round gifting. And it's not like Ruby and Millie in that it's a full blown range. They're all kits and you can see, look, you've got lovely glosses, glosses 10 glosses yep. for £8. Wow. So the prices range from about 5 to £45 yeah. for a big kit like that one. Okay. Um, wonderful nail varnishes, eye things, nail things. So it's fun. It's yeah. for people to, to experiment. If you and I don't want people to think it's just for young people either. It's for anybody who wants yeah. to just get a gift. You know, like you, sometimes the greatest gifts are the ones you like to receive yourself. Yeah, totally. Like for Christmas, I'm giving this to all my friends, all my colleagues. Look at that. Okay, so eyeshadows and lip glosses. Eyeshadows, lip glosses. You can use a bit of the right colour as a blush. Yeah. So just be ingenious with it. But it's so cheap and reasonable. And then you throw that in a bag. It's safe. You can't miss it, getting away from a little bit of black. It, it's fun, it's really fun. So I just want to insist it's all year round. It's not just at Christmas, not just one for Mother's it Day. Can be birthdays, it can be anything. Anything. Weddings, Asian weddings, you know, we have so many little gifts we give. And can we use imagine? those colour as well. And there's it's lots exactly. of colour in your There's range. everything from party to celebrations to christenings to namings, you know, whatever. Sangeet, whatever. And then when you pick up pick up one of the nail colours, like look, I love your Silver nails. <laughs> but look, you can have an array of shades and put something on to pick it up. Yep. They're all in, in fashion, yep. so no one's ever going to feel, oh, I'm left out of the trend. Yep. But it gives you, without making a horrendously expensive mistake. Yeah, so what's your price range? Because it's quite budgeted, isn't it? Very what budgeted. You get. It's 5 to 45 Like When you open that one up, yep. it's got everything in it. Do you want me to open it up? Yes, we do. I think we definitely do. <laughs> you open it up. Look, you help me do that. Look. When you do that, look at that. Concertina. Wow. Goes all the way there. You've got eyeshadows, lipsticks, nail varnishes, nail kit. It's just Oh my God, you've got a manicure set in there Every, as well. Everything, everything. And this one's 45? 45. So and that's okay, as expensive you do, as you anything else. You have covered is. it all, haven't you? Yes. Yes. And like as an Asian girl, um, always looking for different makeups and stuff. And sometimes I can't find a makeup 
like colors and stuff that suit my skin tone do you cover all skin tones and stuff with your well products? to be to be honest these are cosmetics so that it's it's not foundations and concealers. Yeah. It's not going to be for Asian girl or a white girl. Nobody. Okay. All right. You have to go to other brands for that. That's not what this is for. But yeah. any shades here should be particularly for Asians, for anybody really. It won't. It will suit everybody, depending okay. how bold or confident you are. So you can build it up and take it down. Build it up, to. tone it down. If you're if you're a red kind of girl, if you're a classic kind of girl, you're a pink girl. Whatever. It's there for not just for Asian girls, but it, it will sue every Asian girl. Fantastic. <laughs> and so, is this an everyday Benims? Because we're in Oxford Street today. Yes. Is this an everyday Benims across the yes. country? No, it's rolling out. It's pretty much in most of them, and it's online. Yep. Um, I think it's in about 130 stores. Wow, so quite a lot. Across the country. So, yeah, it's got a big presence. It's got a big presence, and they've been very supportive. So, yeah. And if any ladies were to come down to Oxford Street Debenhams, are they likely to see you here? Well, sadly, <laughs> no, 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 I'm here now. If they come now, they see Come me. down now, yeah, today. Exactly. No, I mean, I don't do a tour like that, but there are bits where online you do questions or you do things on, but, you know, there are, there are, but it's, but it's a gifting range, so it's not like I'm here to yeah. do demos or anything like that. Yeah. But you know what? You never know. If they ask for me <laughs> and there's enough of a demand, maybe I will come Maybe down. you will. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So where do you get your inspiration from? Because you all must be seeing current and stuff with the colours. What well, are you working with? Yeah, it's not just me personally. There's the Debenhams team or okay. just the fact that you're in... I'm still out there. I'm working in the field. Yeah. You can't help but take inspiration from life around. You might see a girl. I might see you like I love your silver nails. And I think, oh yeah, I did good there. You know, so yeah. you just... Look around, you keep up to date, so when you're putting a kit together, you can't just put something that's just fashionable, yeah. you can't just put boring classics, you've got yeah. to mix the two to say, look, somebody's already got that red, what's she going to want? Yeah. Or somebody just wants what's out there and doing it in a reasonable way. So. You, you think for them, but mm -hmm. you have got to be up to date, otherwise nobody wants to be dated, do they? No, definitely not, <laughs> definitely not us. No, you've done loads of work. You've worked with runways with um, John Galliano, which is so theatrical and dramatic, I've seen his fashion shows, to Mary Claire fashion shoots. Um, how is that? I mean, that's like no yeah. two days could ever be the same working no. as Ruby if Hammer. You're a, if you're a freelance, and that's not just me, if you're a freelance makeup artist, yeah. it, you could be in the studio doing TV stuff like, like you're doing. Yeah. I could be doing a show and it's chaos, but I've been lucky enough to do all the best editorials worldwide. Yeah. I work with some celebrities. It's all about the job. It's the job, you know, you get up, you get a call sheet, you look at that, oh, who am I working with today? Who's the director? Who's the photographer? Who's the designer? And we just go from there. And tell us about celebrities. I mean, you've worked with some massive, high-profile models like Naomi Campbell, Kate Moss. What was that like? I'm um, lucky to have worked with really, really top-notch models. And even today, I work with the great Brazilian girls and whoever's around now. Yeah. It's fab, but it's my job. You know, I don't pick them, do I? The client picks them. They end up coming on my table. And I enjoy making any woman up. If she happens to be of that elk, it's even better, isn't it? It's more exciting. Yeah. Or definitely. when you work with them more than once, you've yeah. got to try and give them a different look. And it, it, it also depends whether they're being told to look sexy or is it a natural job, is it an ice cream job, is it a full blown makeup job. So each brief is different, but but that's why I love doing what I do. Yeah. <laughs> different <laughs> yeah. every day. Yeah. And do you still work with like brides or like day to day clients or are you more working with massive stores like this? No, no, I have I have private clients, but as you see, my my diary is very booked up, so I it's all imagine. depending on my agent. Mm -hmm. It depends where there's an opening, and I do what I can do, but I don't like letting people down. Like if it's a bride, that's her biggest day in her life. Yeah. You can't just then let her down two days before and say, sorry, I'm just going off on a shoot to Thailand, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So I do try to keep it and not be a flake. I have private clients, and if they book it enough and they pay whatever they're going to to ensure I'm here, then I do that. So if they've got the money and enough time to book you in advance, yeah, it's, maybe it's not they tons can of get money. It's just to secure that because I am jobbing artists. I have to work. I can't just. They might say, "Oh, but I only need you for two hours here." But I've got to be in that country here if I was on a week-long job to guarantee I can do your wedding day or your party or your whatever. But I'm definitely available. They've just got to go through my agent. Right. <laughs> and as an artist, whether you're a designer, singer, I mean, makeup artist like yourself. The dream is to be international, I can imagine, to be globally recognised, which you are, so you're definitely a role model. How do you feel about that? Well, it feels amazing. It feels amazing to be a role model. I mean, it's not what I set out to do. I just wanted to do my craft and 
get a, make a living for me, you know, thankfully I do yeah. get paid for doing what I do. Yeah. But I love it. I do it with no no, I better not tell anybody, I'll do it for nothing. No, I don't do that. <laughs> but it's 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 fantastic to be able to do that. It's yeah. fantastic. But also it's got its challenges, you know, every job, you know, you're the, if you're a makeup artist, you're the first one there, last one out. Every bit of skin that shows, people just think makeup just in the face. But no, if I was doing it's all you over now, the body, every bit that shows, yeah. the time, the effort, the you know, sometimes every model that comes is not all perfect. We've got to use our skills yeah. to to convey that. So, no, I love it. I love it. So, any artists out there that are in the Asian industry that want to become more mainstream, what would be your tip to for them? Well, I, the, the thing about it is, don't do it for what you think, oh, I'm going to be able to travel. Oh, I'm going to get a load of money. Oh, I'm going to be with celebrities. It's not that. You've got to enjoy the grafting. You have to enjoy doing the work, which mm. I do, and the reward has followed. It's not the other way around. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and it's very competitive now, so yeah. be sure you really, this is what you want to do. So it's passion and hard work. Absolutely. And you know what? I believe in the one above. And I think bucket loads of luck yeah. and your parents' blessing. You know, you, you need that. You need, yeah. you need that support and energy to, to do what you need to do. Brilliant. Well, thank you for that, Ruby. Well, guys, stay tuned. We're going to have a segment from Ruby watching her do her makeup and you can watch her work her magic. Fashion. Fashion. Fashion.